Hey everyone, Team Amazing over here, aka Kaori and Anne. And we are going to talk about today's first two hour live NXT on the USA Network, which went head to head with AEW. I did not watch AEW just yet. I don't think we'll be able to. So we're going to recap NXT, and at some point, we will definitely be talking about the head to head situation. Um, so today, we're going to run through NXT, talk about our thoughts on each match. And uh, here we go. All right, Hell first yeah. match, what did we have? We had the NXT champion, Adam Cole versus Matt Riddle. Yep. And I, again, I just love Matt Riddle. I <laughs> The new fan here. New fan. I didn't for know he sure. was an MMA dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. We were watching this with John, and he was like, wait a minute, is that who we th I think it is? Yeah, so I think for people who have been following MMA, you know Matt Riddle from having competed in the Ultimate Fighter. Uh -huh. um, but it's nice to see him here and nice to see him in the first match. Yes, they put the main event at the very, very top of the forefront. I heard AEW did the same thing. Actually, you saw the first match in AEW. Yeah, yeah, so they had Cody Rhodes go up against, I don't even know his name, the panda dude. <laughs> so small. <laughs> All I know is he's like, we compared to Cody Rhodes. But anyway, we'll get into AEW in a different and, recap. And, and to be fair, Adam Cole is we against Matt Riddle. That's That's very true. Yes. That's very true. This match was really good. I yes. thought it had so many moves. A lot of us, oh, a lot of us, AK, Ann and I, <laughs> were like, what? Yeah. Uh, ooh, e. yeah. Yeah. There was like a quick, like, what, 45 second exchange where they were just back and forth slamming each other and mm -hmm. stuff. That was awesome. And I had myself rooting. Uh, my, I was rooting for Riddle even though I kind of knew Adam Cole was going to retain. Mm -hmm. And he did retain and they had a solid match and then out comes Woo! Finn. Yes, our very first kind of big reveal. It's Finn Balor is back. He's back and in he's NXT. back in NXT and I think that was a really, really smart move on WWE's part. And I think it was good for Balor to come back to NXT. I don't want to say come back down, um, but I think it works for him because he was kind of um, high in on Raw, but at the same time, he didn't seem to be as valued there because there's so many great people up there as well. Um, so I think it's a good move for him to kind of maybe be used more mm -hmm. or whatever he's going to be used however he's going to be utilized on NXT is going to be quite interesting. Yeah, and you've been saying for weeks now that, you know, that was probably the strategy they were going to do was bring some of these kind of guys that have grown up in NXT that went to the main main event back down to NXT yep. just for that reason. And I think um, to say that it's like going down a step, I don't think so because no. to your point, and I completely agree with you, that it really puts another... It shines another light on them. It gives them another avenue. And really, Finn coming back puts him at the top of the rankings at this point. Yeah, it's almost kind of like, oh, this is where he belongs. This is mm -hmm. where he belongs in the echelon mm -hmm. up in the ladder. So as soon as he came out, it was like he took over the whole entire arena, the whole yeah. entire ring. Everyone was excited to see him back on. I, we were excited to see him back on. Yeah. I, I think it's a really good spot for him to be in right now because... You know, he was starting to just do mid-card stuff um, mm -hmm. when we were hoping that someone at his level in NXT would kind of thrive on the main event, the main roster. I agree. I'm, I'm looking forward to him kind of bringing back his persona and everything. Like, just, yeah. it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great for him, I think. So, um, yeah, great match on the first one. Obviously, uh, the belt got retained by uh, Adam Cole. Um, then we move on to a non-title match. I believe it's the... Uh, Asian girls, right? Eo and Mia. Eo and Mia, who, if you checked out our tweet, they have the same hair. I know. Back in 2013. We have been channeling these two ladies since 2013, my friend. Yes, I know. <laughs> I didn't even know it. And I think that they had a good match as well. Yeah, Solid, I, agree. I think, smart move to put them in the in the second second match of the night. Mm -hmm. um, I love Eo Shirai. Shirai. I think she's really good and... She has a lot of acrobatics, but yet she's really strong. Yeah, yeah, right? I agree. A lot of times you see high flyers versus strength, and she kind of has both. Yes, and they match up like just like Team Amazion does, but they match up really well in a wrestling match. Mm -hmm. I think um, sometimes when we see two people come out and fight, you're just like, this is just so uneven, but they both were equally good in the, this match. They worked really, really well together. Yeah. They made each other look 
both equally good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing more of that, but I have a feeling it might be over and on to the next. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, what was next? So we had Johnny Gargano versus Shane Thorne. Okay, another non-title match. Johnny mm -hmm. Gargano, who was an, an, um, at some point, I believe, the NXT American champion. Yeah. Um, he lost his title to Adam Cole at some point. Mm -hmm. If I'm getting my history correct, all that WWE moves so fast sometimes. Yeah, I know. Sometimes not, but, you know. And then Shane Thorne. Okay, so I'm a bigger fan of Gargano for the fact that I know a little more of who he is versus Shane Thorne. Yeah. So I kind of figured this wouldn't be as interesting, but it was good. Yeah, and I think this is not the first time they fought you guys can correct me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. i think they they definitely have fought before again like very good equals to each other i think their wrestling styles are very similar so that it, it made for a really good match and gargano did take that one yeah he did take that one um i, I think that we're gonna see more of gargano because he's one of their main guys yeah i'm, I'm i wouldn't be surprised if he'd be up for a title um soon in the near future in the near future although we have to question and we'll get to that, um, the ending of the yeah, NXT show. Yeah, there's so many competitors now. But so many. Yeah, before we get to that, we had the NXT Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler, Baszler versus Candice LeRae. And we always saw it, every time we, every time we see them like just staring each other down, you think, there's no way. There's just there's no way. There's just no way. In real life, come on. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> I, I, I mean, Candice is a fan favorite, She's a strong wrestler. Yeah. But I kind of figured coming out into a two hour live show that they would let Shayna retain, mm -hmm. considering that she's been the champion for a really, really long time. She's almost going to be Asuka's level of, of being that champ, of women's champ. They might need to get another belt at some point for, That's true. for women's. That's true. I could see that, like them expanding that division for yeah. sure. I mean, we have enough women, I think, um, that we, on the roster, that we don't even know who they are yet. Mm -hmm. So it would still have a good competition. I know that it would be a great idea and great for me to see. Yeah. So anyways, they had a great match. Um, they both, you know, are b different styles of wrestling for sure. One's just, you know strong yes and, and the other one's kind of more loose yeah and i kind of like that baszler beat loray by submission yes you know it gave it, it a different spin because I, I i think i expected her to win by pinfall but mm -hmm. the fact that you know candace tapped was was that was kind of cool too. and she put on a good show they both they mm -hmm. both like candace had a good run as well yeah um i'm wondering what's going to happen next who's going to go up against Shayna? everyone's been going up against her and they can't win i p predict that if someone is going to take that belt off of her, it will probably be um, Belair, Bianca Belair. Okay. Yeah, that's my prediction for now. Um, we'll see, though, because that, Bianca Belair is also a fan favorite as well. Sure. So we didn't see her this time around. Um, and then the next one we had Pete Dunne versus Danny Birch. Okay. So um, we did see Pete Dunne. I think he just fought last week or the week before. Yes, he did. Um, and... Uh, that was a good match. I mean, all these matches were had enough time yeah. to really showcase their athleticism and their performance. Yeah, that's um, a good point. And what I like is it didn't feel like NXT, which is essentially like training camp. Mm -hmm. It just felt like a really high-level show. It felt as good as Raw, as good as SmackDown, with limited commercial breaks. Uh, and then, you know, we, we get to see the... We get to grow with these people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of these people, like the not Pete Dunne, the other guy, was kind of new to me. Yeah, no, and I, again, like a really good matchup. I think they paired really well. I think, um, so Dunne defeated Birch by pinfall, but I think this was their second kind of big uh, reveal was when Damian Priest came out mm -hmm. at the yes. end of the match. Which was, I think, the crowd went crazy for that too. Yeah, and Anne remembers Damian Priest at the Royal Rumble, which yeah. I totally forgot he was in there. So, I think there's a lot of people that are going to be coming up, and it's going to be quite interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the last match we had was the one I've been looking forward to mm -hmm. for weeks now, which is the Street Profits versus the Undisputed Era for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Yes, and based on looks alone. You don't realize how tiny the tag team champs are right now. Yeah. 
I think that's one thing I recognized when I first started watching NXT is just the sheer size of the yes. wrestlers is very different mm -hmm. than uh, what you see on Raw or SmackDown. I mean, those guys are just massive. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this matchup again, you would think because they're so like off in terms of the comparison of size, it actually ended up being a really, really good match. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think uh, Street Profits, obviously. For me, I was really cheering for them. Um, they had such a good entrance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wale came out to cut, uh, to introduce them. The crowd was energetic. Um, but I mean, I think the match overall, there there was a lot of moves where people were just like, going crazy. Uh, they had a lot of flying and just incredible, incredible showmanship. Uh, I think the Street Profits don't need to win this match to. That's true. Uh, get higher up in celebrity. Yes. I think they're hold their own without yeah. it. Uh, whereas maybe the Street Profits, and not Street Profits, the Undisputed Era tag team might need to hold on to it a little bit. Yeah, and I mean, they kept, they re retained the prophecy, right? Yes. Um, but I think you're right. I think what we got tonight with all the matches is that even though nobody lost their belts, that we have so much potential for future so matches that I'm totally looking forward to. I mean, I could watch Street Pro Street Profits fight Undisputed Era or you every watch, night. She can watch them do an just entrance dance. the yeah, whole time. Just dance the, the whole time. time. I'm good with that too. Yeah, I think overall it was a really, really good show. I think that the fact that everyone retained, it didn't damage any anyone else. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. I think my only, my only kind of down... Um, of it, mm -hmm. and I hate to say this, is the promo that Velveteen Dream did. I that, think see, it I just felt, about that. yeah, it felt a little off, not off putting, but it felt a little bit out of place compared to all the flow of the rest of the show. Yeah, and I also feel like Velveteen doesn't really need to talk much. Yeah, that's very true. That's part of his illusion and his luster is to be a little more. Um, I'm this and that's all you need to know mm -hmm. instead of getting on to the ramp and imaginary soapbox and talking about who he is because it, it, it kind of it, for new wrestling fans it might kind of fizzle him out just mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. just a little bit so and we just didn't know where where where's he going with this no no not at all and I think you called it out throughout the entire um, episode was that that is something that we have valued in NXT is that they don't really have to rely on doing these types of promos to make the show good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then they had that backstage uh, promo with Adam Cole and his crew, and that was like, we don't really need that. And then he comes back out again. Yes. But then Ciampa comes out. And yes. We've been waiting for Ciampa for a long, long time. I know Ciampa and Johnny used to be homies. Um, Wondering how that's gonna pan out. Why, why did he take a break? Do you know? Injury. Okay. Injury. So uh, maybe Johnny and Ciampa will kind of like go head to head to beat the Undisputed Era. And that would be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so it's good to have him back, even though it's funny because you think Ciampa's big, but then you look at him next to Adam Cole and you're like, wait, he's just a hair more muscular. Yeah, than that's you know. true. That's true too. <laughs> and then you, and then you put all these wrestlers up, up against like I don't know the Cenas and and uh, the Roman Reigns of of you know the main card, and it's like oh my gosh, just the sheer size difference. Is, yeah. It, it it like surprises me every time. I know it shouldn't, but it, it, does. it does. Yeah. You know? And because it, it makes me think, oh, I'm about that size. You know <laughs> what I mean? But I can do this, right? <laughs> And then there's a, that you remind me, speaking of Roman Reigns, there's that one guy that came out, um, I don't know his name, but he looked like a bootleg Roman Reigns. Oh my gosh, what was his name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that was kind of unnecessary, but mm -hmm. they're obviously going to use him of sorts to help amplify all the different matches that are to come um, within the next few weeks. So yeah. overall, I thought it was great. I had two hours. It's just perfect. I mm -hmm. want any more than mm -hmm. two hours. I think... The com limited commercial breaks was not enough. Um, they had the same commercials over and over again. The, the YouTube, yeah, the Pringles. <laughs> Actually, you br yeah, and that reminds me, like, <laughs> that one. The one thing about tonight was limited commercials. They kept, you know, promoting limited commercials. The one thing that um, distracted me, though, 
And I get what they were doing was they would have the match kind of in a smaller screen mm -hmm. and then they'd have the commercials in a bigger screen to be able to still run the commercials. Yeah. But during that time, it felt like a commercial break. So I would be maybe 50% paying attention to the yeah. match. Yes. It's up here and the commercial was so large on the TV. You're but. more than me because I was like 75% <laughs> looking at the jalapeno slash sour cream and <laughs> onion pringles. Every mix. time she's like, who eats Pringles? <laughs> Do you eat Pringles? <laughs> well, Let it worked know. because we're talking about Pringles right now. No, no, we're, we're going to have like a little Pringles commercial right, right here. And I, one, one more thing I wanted to say though, and I think we never give credit to it, is that the announcers did such a good job yeah, tonight. Oh, yeah. They I, did think, I think they, they did. Hard. Yes, they do. And I think, I think you often forget it because, you know, imagine watching wrestling without them yeah. speaking. Mm -hmm. It just wouldn't be the same type of show. So I think, I think they even brought the energy tonight too compared compared to the last two episodes that we've seen yeah and we get a taste of that when we go to a live event and we don't hear them and yes. it's all looking at the screen and yes. it's all us to determine these things yeah yeah and they help true. us learn a lot like oh that's what that move's called mm -hmm. okay and like you know they take they have they do a lot of work uh, i believe in <laughs> in just preparing for the show yeah. so props to them as well yeah good point and also you reminded me a lot of them were wearing gold and black yes. in their uh, wrestling attire. We weren't sure if that was just like individual choices, if there was like an option on the table to help like subtly re or not rebrand, but you know, spread the brand of NXT through the colors of their outfits. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is we had a lot of presence from a lot of WWE um, stars. Like you had Stephanie McMahon in the crowd, you had Mark Henry in the crowd, you had a lot of these people you had Kevin Nash, right? A lot of, a lot of people Bryce, yeah. showing their support for the first like real like live episode on USA. So it was, it was great. I love the energy tonight. I yeah, it, it, NXT managed to successfully bring their a smaller package to the big screen mm -hmm. successfully, and it kept us entertained throughout. Yeah, that's true. It's just such a different vibe from SmackDown and Raw. Granted, coming up SmackDown finally on Fox and then they're gonna have The Rock come in and I think they're really Steve really Austin. trying to put it in yeah everybody's coming for that one yeah it's interesting though because I was recently reading an article about even though both promotions AEW and WWE are like oh we're not trying to compete it's like come on guys yes it's, it's the way it's handled NXT to me, wouldn't even have become a live show if AEW didn't announce TNT, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's like in real life, you always have to have that person that's kind of pushing you to, to be better, you yes. know? Yes, so that's why I do think it's very important that AEW stays afloat because it will continue to keep NXT um, trying, to, trying to battle with yeah. uh, another, another brand. Mm -hmm. Well, Raw doesn't have anyone going up against them at that time, mm -hmm. and neither does SmackDown. So I think that also elevates our interest. Yeah, as well, yeah, which wars. we're very excited to see how the ratings turn out. Yes, you know, um, for for both of their debuts, uh, I guess we can recap that when, in next yeah. week's episode. Yeah, when when we watch it, and we'll recap that in next week's episode. So I mean, as much as like WWE has so many different um, so many different shows coming on with all of the main brands as well as pay per view coming up, I think they've um, I think AEW is still going to keep. A run for the money. They have mm -hmm. big names there. Apparently, Swagger came on. Not that we give a shit about Swagger, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I actually have not read any uh, spoilers for who AEW brought out tonight. And I don't think she cares. That I just said Swagger. No. No. <laughs> right, exactly. But yeah, I think I think as they continue to push hard, I think th that will keep NXT on their toes too. Yes, and now I'm like, well, Balor's back there, so I want to see what's going on. Ciampa's back, I want to see what's going on. Um, the ladies are fierce, so I want to keep watching them, mm -hmm. and I want to see who kick, who finally ends up with uh, Basra's belt when she decides to, I don't know, I wonder if she's going to end up having to relinquish the title, and I'm also wondering what it's going to look like. Do they still consider themselves going up to the roster? Right. Um, what's that going to look like for um, the different promotions in WWE, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, I, I still believe they're going to cross um, the people back, just like they did with Balor. Um, 
maybe Cesaro mm -hmm. would be great because mm -hmm. he was a really good one down. Seth started in NXT, but I don't think they're going to bring him back down because of who he is mm -hmm. on the Raw brand as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, guys. I'm, I think that's about does it, right? Yeah. That does it for us today. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you have any thoughts, feel free to comment below and let us know what you thought of Wednesday Night Wars as well as the two-hour live limited commercial breaks <laughs> NXT show. <laughs> In the meantime, you can follow us at Team Amazion everywhere. You can follow me, K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S, and... And you can follow me at Ann Campia. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you later.